there was one thing I was looking forward to the most for this new season, and that, believe it or not, was Martyr. What? So Martyr fits kind of nice into the Nomura deck that I have. So this one is called Law, Latveria, Doctor Doom, Atlantis, Namora, and Wakanda, and Shuri. And with Namora, you can get a lot of 10 power cards out onto the board, discount your scar. So that is what we will be looking to do. And the new season has begun. So let's get into it. We are starting at rank 73, of course, and let's see how high we can climb. Alrighty, first up we have Elna Jar. Formir. My my hand is kind of decent. I think I play Lizard Middle. Lizard Middle? Yes, Lizard Middle. Okay, they're definitely going to fill everywhere. Uh, let's see. Because if I play Namora... Right. <laughs> For the hilarious play. I think that's what I do. Play Shuri. In turn. Okay, armor is out of commission. Yeah, play Shuri here, and then... 5, 10, 15, 20, so 21, and Dazzler can only get to... Yeah, this is definitely what I do. So snap this. Now, they might have Sean, <laughs> which is going to be a problem. But we won't play Martyr, we'll just play Captain Marvel. And then Namora. Oh, if they have uh, Spectrum, <laughs> what does Spectrum do? But then they won't be able to fill up with the Ant-Man. But they also have Squirrel Girl, Girl over here. So I think this is what we do. Oh, does Valkyrie not matter? <laughs> I don't think Valkyrie matters. Look at that. Namora coming through. For a full casserole? I am afraid so. Fantastic. Fantastic set of locations. They couldn't stop the power of Namora. So I I could have used Martyr actually. Martyr would have won as well. Uh, but we had Captain Marvel, so use Captain Marvel instead. Alright, next up we have Lax Us Sora. Space Throne, hmm. I can actually get in a card early and get it buffed with Namora. So that's always a possibility. I will continue to hold this card. Let's see, I think I do... Hmm, 
Marder? Or do I do the Rock and the Captain Marvel? No. Let me just do... I will play out Martyr here. Oh, that was actually... That might be a decent play. And then Crossbones. Okay. And then a Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel? No, I want to play Captain Marvel here. Because Martyr will lose me the game, but then Captain Marvel will win me the game. <laughs> so, so we will go this way. Yeah, there's the MODOK if they have Proxima Midnight. And I actually stopped I Martyr from moving born. into Space Throne. Two swarms. And a 10 power apocalypse. So if I play Namora here, but for that, let me let me ha have the rock come in to help me from the top rope. The the weirdest play line you're about to see. Okay, tie there. Do I win on overall power? <laughs> what a game. What a game. Hilarious. This Martyr Crossbones combination is not something I previously thought of, but it's actually a pretty good combo. And then as well, Martyr combined with Captain Marvel. So what happens is this is all about play order. So Martyr will see if she can lose the game first. And then after that, Captain Marvel will see if she can win the game. That is only if you play Martyr before Captain Marvel. Namora coming in, buffing The Rock, buffing Captain Marvel. Really weird game how this played out, uh, but uh, a win is a win, and we will take the weird ones. Okay, next up we have Shadow. Hmm, Quantum Tunnel, not a fan. Play Sunspot Middle. Taskmaster is in this deck because on the last turn you conceivably could play... Scar, a free scar and then taskmaster as well for a total of 22 points oh another quantum tunnel we're bouncing out of here so fast Escape. i did do my hand was very top heavy they snapped meaning they're telling us they have what they need to win quantum tunnel i just do not like i like predictability when i play so let's just leave for one cube. Okay, next up is Black Death. Real spooky stuff. An Optocron can't take advantage of. Oh, well, Dr. Doom can. The Doom Bot could be seven in that location. Lemuria. I will just get down the armor. And the sunspot in middle. Okay, so maybe we end up abandoning middle. Miss Marvel is nice, so we will play Crossbones here, and then my turn five could be Scar. Hmm. No, I'd want it to be Marvel and something else. Play Captain Marvel.
I'm uncertain about this game. So Captain Marvel can move, so I don't really care where I put her down at. Or let me put her down mid, actually. Just so I don't muddy the water with Miss Marvel. Mysterio, so that's the fake one. So I could get up to 12 points here. Or there's my two. The lizard. So if I do my two cost cards. So if I do lizard and Miss Marvel here, Captain Marvel moves over here. So I get up to 15. This is worth rolling the dice on. Five from the lizard, assuming they don't fill. Captain Marvel moves over. And then the Miss Marvel bonus is plus five. So 15 and 18 on the right. So this is this is worth one cube. Now they have movers, so they could move a bunch of cards. So this is a little unpredictable. So if they snap, I would leave. But for two cubes, I'm comfortable staying in. Hmm, maybe they are unsure because they are taking the full timer. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, is that enough? Oh, not Higher quite, fashion, but maybe baby. the Mysterio? Where's the real Mysterio? The real Mysterio is right, so yeah, we do... Do... Wow. I will take that nail biter. They put the real Mysterio left, and I didn't realize. I guess the real Mysterio counts as not starting in your deck? Disguise this as an illusion until the real. This can't be how it should work. Mysterio should be four. Cards that didn't start in your deck get plus two. Play illusions to other locations, no problem. Disguise this as an illusion until the game ends. So when the game ends, it should flip back. Yes, Mysterio, the real Mysterio, it should flip back to the real Mysterio. Huh, learn something new. Uh, why am I looking to give Taurus in the mouth? I got the win. Uh, strong showing from the Marvels, Ms. Marvel and Captain Marvel. Crossbones coming into play. We drew Lizard right on time and we're able to pull this out. Okay, next up we have Jet. Hmm, I will get Martyr down. Yeah, I expect them to play for Eternity range, so I want to kind of keep that empty to give myself some options. Rickety Bridge, that is hilarious. So I think I'm patient. Because this looks like a certified move deck. Aaron Zemo. Okay, so I do have armor. Let's see. Do I play Zemo now? Sure. And then I will play Crossbones. We will fill this location, but that's a lot of power to compete with. And then on turn five... Oh, nice. We don't fill the location because of Nightcrawler. Fantastic. So get this down. On turn five, I can play Lizard into Rickety Bridge. And then on turn six, or do I move the Nightcrawler? Nah, we'll just play the lizard down. 
give myself an, some options. And then I can play Armor and Scar in the middle. Because they also have to contend with Rickety Bridge. Polar Torch. Yeah, so I think this is just the play. And then the Martyr won't even matter because they're going to abandon this right lane, I anticipate. Yeah, which they did. So Martyr can freely move. And I would be surprised if they get enough power middle. Yep. Perfect. This deck is fantastic. Nobody is expecting this. This is why I love playing off meta decks. I love it to death. Uh, nobody is expecting a deck with Martyr, Crossbones, <laughs> Nomura, Scar, Taskmaster. It just. Nobody knows how to handle this deck, what to expect. And. This is why I love creating my own decks, because it's just so unexpected and you can get kind of easy-ish wins. So as long as I stay a small creator, I'm really not going to influence, be able to influence the game. <laughs> so you're not going to see people running around with my deck or a lot of them. So now's the time to use these decks, uh, if assuming if you have these cards, because nobody will know what to expect. Okay, next up we have Luca. Monster Island first turn. That's good if we draw into Scar. We have Martyr early. I can protect the monster with armor if I need to. Okay, I think I play... Let's get down Martyr here. Get down Martyr first. Bonus energy. Is this a Mr. Negative? It won't help with Lemuria. Get Sunspot down here. I don't want to play armor yet because I'm trying to leave space if I draw into Nomura. Captain Marvel. Magic. So it almost definitely is a Mr. Negative deck. Yeah, with Ironheart. So they still haven't drawn Mr. Ne Mr. Negative. So I think I want to snap. Let me get down Miss Marvel. And then next turn will be Scar potentially. Is this a Sean? Did I wait too long to Sean? Armor first into Scar. And then last turn is Taskmaster right. I am Iron Man. And that copies. What could they be up to? We're seeing this through. <laughs> Victory! 
What? Was that a bluff snap? They didn't play negative. So why would I think they drew anything with Jane Foster, Thor? Yikes. Okay, so I've been climbing for maybe 45 minutes to an hour, somewhere in between there. We are at rank 75, so we gained two full ranks, or 2.3. This deck is kind of fun to play. Uh, I can actually gain ranks with it. And I don't think we actually got to show off a free scar, but that's definitely something I'm looking forward to doing when I'm playing this deck off stream. But otherwise, here is a martyr deck that you can use and legitimately use to climb. So until next time, take care.